Hi, my name is Robert Ray from MP3 Car. We get a ton of emails from people like you that want to know how to build a car PC. So I decided that we would film one in HD so you could pause, go back and forth, and learn how to build one of these things yourself. So we're going to build one of our telematics bundles, uh, which is designed to be highly ruggedized. It's not, it doesn't have the cheapest parts in the world, but uh, it's a great bundle and a great way to learn, great way to start. So let's head on into the lab and take a look. All right, let's start with the parts list. We have a Morex 5677 case here, which is powder coated. I've got it on a little bit of cloth here to protect it from getting scratched in case we decide to do a cosmetic install. Um, we've got a dual core Intel Atom motherboard, which we've been very pleased with the performance on. It has um, four USB ports on the back, ethernet, great quality sound. It has a sound header inside if you need to do any audio there. Um, has a serial port if you ever want to connect any uh, serial type of telematics equipment or any other type of, of interface device. Um, and a VGA port, so that's, that's a, a great set of input-output um, for a telematics bundle. We have a cable kit, and this cable kit's standard ATX power, uh, 12 volt and 5 volt for any type of an accessory. A P4 connector, which is going to connect right here on the motherboard to provide 12 volts of power right to the motherboard. And then we have uh, these three wires right here, which are uh, ground positive, and the white one is for accessory, for switching the accessory wire. Um, we also have a little jumper kit, and what you use these jumpers for are setting the on-off timing sequences on the M2 ATX power supply. So before we forget, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and put this in right here. For standard configuration, is just having it on the A jumper. So now that we've got that out of the way. Um, Today's install, we're building a telematics bundle, and this is a Seagate automotive grade hard drive, very rugged, um, and can do all sorts of shock and temperature extremes. So on our telematics bundles, that's what we, we use. Um, M2 ATX power supply, this takes the noisy car voltage and turns it into clean regulated computer voltage, as well as controlling the ignition sensing on and off uh, so when you turn your car off, it's going to tell the computer to turn off in a graceful manner rather than causing a hard shutdown. So that's what the M2 ATX does. Of course, we have a memory stick. In this case, we're going to use a 2 gig memory stick. Uh, the sticker that's going to go on to describe uh, all of the ports is underneath. And uh, we're also going to add four extra USB ports. So this case comes with, uh, this motherboard comes with four ports, but there's a lot of situations where four is just not enough. And, and using hubs can get quite unstable when, you when you're turning the computer on and off and you just want devices to work without any keyboard input. Uh, it, it adds a lot of stability to have non-hubbed USB ports. And you also get a full 500 milliamps of power out of each one of these things. Um, we have a back plate, which we're going to modify in a little bit here, and a 2.5-inch uh, hard drive to standard... IDE connector which plugs in here when we get a little bit further into the install.